Okay, so in this video, we're going to be talking about the basics of relationship marketing. I'm looking to do an uh, intermediate one and an advanced version of what is relationship marketing, but we're just going to really go over some really basic issues. So what is it? It's debated, actually. Uh, relationship marketing is actually a relatively new term. You think of a lot of other approaches. You've got transactional marketing and many others which have been around for actually quite some time. However, relationship marketing is actually relatively new, uh, probably within the last sort of like 20 years or so. Uh, there's three schools of thought, Anglo-Australian model, which uh, it actually focuses on internal staff and services, about producing good internal staff services to provide good customer service, to enhance a relationship with a customer. And then you've got the Nordic approach, Again, customer is an integral part of this. And you have the North American approach. So they all really focused around relationship marketing. And the end goal really is, is to build a relationship with your customer. But there's just three different sort of perspectives. So it's sort of a triangulation approach, really. Different perspectives on it. Uh, so some definitions of it is uh, marketing activities that are aimed at developing and managing trust and long-term relationships with larger customers. So it's about building that customer attention and trust so then it will affect positively upon your business. You know, it's less about profit, it's more about customer attention. But uh, so by actually making sure you keep your customers, you are benefit in your company with profit but your profit isn't necessarily you, you, your fundamental aim. You're not there to just take money off people. You're there to provide something that's going to keep them as customers, uh, as, a, as opposed to a transactional approach where it's basically like buy this product, they make the money, that's it. You know, it's, it's, a, it's just about which is more for FM CGs, which is fast moving consumer goods. Uh, another uh, definition is a type of marketing intended to foster a long-term business relationship with a customer, especially by offering a personalized service. Again, so this is about personalization as well. So it is linked with some forms of direct marketing as well. It's also linked with CRM, Customer Relationship Management. Um, this is uh, also linked with database marketing. So these things are like... Uh, creating a database so that you're able to know the comp the person's name, the rage, maybe some interests, what products they've previously bought, all these types of things and this information can be used to help develop a relationship marketing approach, a more personalized approach to ensure again that customer attention and customer satisfaction. It's also linked with internal marketing, like I mentioned, the training of staff and it's also linked with the extended marketing mix. Uh, it's about the people, uh, the physical evidence, and all the other aspects of the marketing mix. It plays into the relationship marketing approach. I mean, especially the people element. I mean, I think that's probably one of the main sort of factors with relationship marketing it is the people, the people within the company who are providing that service because those are on the front line. These are the people representing the company to give that service to the customer and build that relationship. So I think the people is a key element within the extended marketing mix that applies to relationship marketing. Now, so what, what is RM and what is its benefit? So again, it's focusing on building a relationship with a customer. And then what that allows it to do is it has an effect on customer attention. And there's actually a lot of figures out there. Uh, I haven't pinpointed anything directly. Uh, but I will maybe put something in the description. Uh, it's cheaper to retain customers than gain new ones. So if you think about that, if you are a, say even a small company or a medium sized company, probably a relationship marketing approach is very, very important. You know, the, you see the importance of retaining your customers because it's cheaper than gaining new ones. That's going to save you money in the long run. Now, that's not to say that you shouldn't try and achieve uh, new customers and, and grow your business of course you need to do that but it's about having a dynamic approach and making sure that the customers you do have you are building a relationship with them uh, in terms of relationship marketing so that you retain those customers what does relation 
relationship marketing do and what what are its benefits so it's a focus on building internal relationships with staff that then improves customer service and then that then affects customer satisfaction and retention so where can it be really implemented it's sort of anywhere in the service sector really uh, you've got to be careful with uh, fast moving consumer goods you know those sort of things you know your supermarket goods that don't necessarily need a relationship marketing approach but, but you know companies can still implement it uh, but it's more for like sort of service sector maybe hotels flights trains taxi firms holiday companies maybe the business that you run maybe you could implement this approach as well.